Hello, I'm Dr. Steve with Complete Family Eye Care in Burnsville, Minnesota. Today we're talking about over-the-counter reading glasses and how to pick appropriate power for yourself. Um, over-the-counter reading glasses can be purchased very inexpensively at your local drugstore and um, they're a safe, effective way of, of uh, correcting your near vision um, if you have good distance vision and your eyes are relatively equal and you don't have a large amount of astigmatism or cataracts or any other problems with your vision. And if your distance vision can be corrected with contact lenses or with cataract surgery or with LASIK surgery or just have natural good um, distance vision, eyes being relatively equal, then these glasses can be effective for your, for your use. So, um, how to pick a power. So when you go to the drugstore to get some cheaters, okay, they usually come from a plus one, to a plus three, and a plus two right here in the middle, and then a quarter unit increments the whole way up, okay? So here's how it works. A plus one will give you the highest magnification, and the one will give you the lowest magnification. And it's all based on the metric system. Um, a plus one will focus for one meter, and a plus two for a half of a meter, it's just the inverse, and then a three is for a third of a meter. Since no one likes the metric system, we'll just make it easy and go one foot, two feet, and three feet. So, the point of this is, if you get a plus three, you'll get the highest magnification. It's going to focus one foot right here in front of your face. Things will be hugely magnified, but you're not going to be able to see anything else out of this distance. Arm lights across rooms will be very, very, very blurry. So. You can have different powers for different things. Myself, personally, I have a plus one or a 1.25. It's focused for about three feet or so of the computer distance. And that works for the majority of uh, the tasks I have for things up close. And then I have a two that I have laying next to my bed because I read a little bit closer in bed at night. My eyes are kind of tired and I need a little bit extra help. So I have the high power for reading at night. And then also I keep a three in the garage in case I get a sliver in my finger or to look at a small number on a tool or something like that. Or if the kids have something real small, I have to look like I can pop the threes on. Um, so that's, um, there's no magic power for any individual. You can use different powers for different things. And it doesn't hurt you to go stronger or weaker. It's not going to cure your eyes by using a lower power or higher power. Um, so it, once again, just correlates to your reading distance and what you're working on and per personal preference also and how long your arms are. Real short people need to have plus threes because you have short arms and things are closer to you. So, um, and also to like the computer distance too, right? a computer distance isn't in a plus three zone, it's more than a 1.5. So once again, you have different powers and you have to use them uh, for different tasks. So when you get sick of taking the readers off and on, um, then the bifocal word comes into play. Because cheaters are great for just uh, cheating and for part-time use, but their effectiveness um, gets less as you uh, have to use them more. So, um, currently, the most popular type of uh, bifocal is called a progressive. And a progressive lens has a channel of vision like this, where the top part, the distance correction, is at. And these work real nice too for people who have poor distance vision, or they have a bunch of astigmatism in the vision, or their eyes aren't equal. Okay, so that's you're going to have to do a progressive lens versus a reader, um, or people get sick of taking the cheaters off and on. So the top part is set for distance, and then example, let's say. Um, the progressives come in power from about plus one to plus three also. Let's just do a plus two for example right here, plus two progressive. Um, the plus two is the maximum power you'll get at the bottom of the lens. As you look further down the lens, it gets stronger. So right here, it's like 0 0.5, and then plus one here, plus 1.5 here, and 1.75. So the point of this is that as you look further down the lens, it builds all the powers in, okay? So you can see distance mid-range and up close without having to take the glasses off and on, okay? So this is a very convenient lens to have. And I have a pair of Progressive also. Lenses I use, and I like these for driving is a good example of this. I can see putting the glasses, and I can see distance, and I can see the dashboard. I can see distance, mid-range, and up close, and the median. So I use these a good chunk of my day, but I also have my cheaters around the house for uh, cheating purposes in the garage, laying all over creation for nominal cost. These, of course, Progressives will be made uh, specifically for you, so you get a nice frame, but they will cost more. So, um, that pretty much covers everything for reading glasses and progressives. Just make sure to have your eyes checked first and make sure there's nothing else wrong with your vision other than just seeing some simple glasses. Thank you very much.